Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a full day in the life of a full-time sneaker reseller, entrepreneur, whatever you want to call me. We've got a lot of sneaker stuff to do. However, recently I've been trying to be a bit better at keeping myself a bit more healthy. The so first things first, we've woke up, it's 9 in the morning, we're going to go for a run. The Whoop is saying that my recovery is the best right now. So it's saying I can go for optimal strain, so I'll go for a 5 or a 10k, I do think. We are about 4k in at the moment. We're up to halfway soon. Uh, feeling good, you know, feeling good. If you're watching this, this is your tip to get out there, go for a run, go to the gym, just go do something. Feel a lot better about yourself and you're just overall a lot more productive. All right, how are we people? We are back home, freshened up, got changed, ready to take on the day. So I'm feeling a lot better. Nor how minging the uh, office is looking at the moment. We've just got a load of new stuff come. So basically I've just been unboxing it all and not cleaned it. That's going to be fixed. But look at this and wait till I turn it on. Look how mint this LED logo is. It's finally come. We ordered this over two months ago. Spent a lot of money on it as well, I'll be honest. But yeah, I'm now going to spend some time cleaning all of this. All right, so we are now on the way to the post office. It's a Saturday today. I usually try not to work as much on a Saturday. I try to relax. Uh, however, I've been really ill the last week, and it's the first day where I actually feel like nearly normal again so uh i'm gonna put some work in today um because i feel motivated to i'm feeling good i think they've run out a lot in the morning the big project i've been working on that's just been a pain in the ass recently is i want to open my own pop-up shop all right i want to open my own pop-up shop i want to do it for about three months and um i'm not fussed about making money from it i even wouldn't even care if i lost money doing it i know that sounds stupid but um, one of my end goals uh, to do full time, would, it, it, my dream would be to own my own sneaker store. But yeah, obviously it's a lot, it's a very complicated. I've, I've contacted what they're called, like these surveyors, um, all these different pop-up places, trying to get different quotes and everything. But getting the quotes isn't the hard part. What the hard part is, is finding a shop that is one, available to let, and two, available to let for short-term leases. Um, all of these people are trying to get me to sign, well, the, the shortest I've seen is three years. I want it for three months, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, so obviously when it comes to pop-up with short-term leases, they're gonna charge you more even if you do find the place, which is why I'm not really that bothered about making money. So hopefully, yeah, stay tuned for that because if I can get one open, I wanna be doing it at end of this year for three months. So maybe uh, November through end of Jan would be perfect for me. We're at the post office now. Let's uh, post off these shoes and get it all uh, sorted. All right, everyone, we are now on the way to the Nike outlet to go check it out. Anyone who lives near an outlet within half an hour and you can drive or if you're within train distance, walk distance, whatever, go check it out as much as you can. It's literally free money most of the time. Um, there's some, always some good stuff in there. If you can't find anything, usually not looking hard enough. Don't get me wrong, I do have some days where I strike out, all right? I mean, it's very hit and miss, so you might have three days on a trot where you don't find anything. But then, like, you go the next day and you find an absolute gold mine. You can buy loads of stuff. And that's what it's really all about. Um, I've mentioned before, things to look out for. Mylers is always a good one. They like the active wear t-shirts. You can usually get um, the back wall as well. Always check that. I found Pandas there before. I found Air Max 95s there. Heavily, heavily discounted. I've got 95s for 80 quid. And they even came with full box. I've got loads of pairs of them. Um, so it is just about checking them. But yeah, guys, stay motivated. This year is going to be your year. Make some good money, man. Make some good money. Prioritize, prioritize yourself and the money will come along with it. Do something you love and trust me, you will be good to go. Now, that was a police car. We are not speeding, though. We are okay. The wind is bad. But we are now heading into the Nike outlet. Just got here. Just started to rain, which is not good. As you can see, it is just a bit wet. Hopefully... Hopefully there's some good stuff, but yeah, we shall see. Boys, we just absolutely cleaned at the night outlet. Like, I am not joking. Probably my most successful ever trip. Got loads of pandas for literally 50 quid. Loads of mileage, everything. I'm gonna give you a rundown now. So starting off light, we got uh, five of the pink mileage. Now they retail for 
20 pounds we got them uh, well we got them for 20 quid they sell for 45 pounds so five of them that's already nearly 100 pound profit well it is 100 pound profit a couple of the black ones these aren't really much profits we made just good stock to have we also got a couple of the gray ones as well within the bag somewhere 50 percent off these nike golf trousers again good money to be made on them because they only come out to be like 20 pounds and they retail for like 90 pounds that's just bag number one we got four pairs of brand new pandas with no box lid guess how much these come to 50 pounds i'll be able to move these for around retail so 50 quid i uh, should be able to sell them about 100 pounds so three pairs of them another 150 pound profit in them we also got this really nice looking sb as well which i'm going to show you so these came out to only 50 pounds as well hope that lighting is all right really actually good material on these it's like all suede really nice looking dunk again 50 quid usually we'd have 110 should be able to move these easily for about 18 90 pounds a nice little 40 50 pound profit maybe i got this um jacket just for myself for running which i'm quite happy with and it came out to be about 30 pounds we also got these psg tops um 50 off so then they came to 20 and we also got finally a pair of these 95s now these only came out to be uh, 70 something pounds should be able to move them for about 120 130 and yeah that is it so we spent a total of 650 pounds uh, again the car is not the most practical and put that over there and shut that yeah man what an absolute day uh we're now going to walk around cheshire oaks for a little bit see how it all goes and um, i just get my steps in really not only that um we'll check out new balance and other ones like that as well so uh see you guys in a little bit get the steps in but yeah what an absolute cook at the night like, everyone's looking at me weird right now because i'm recording but oh well it is what it is got to get the grind in so uh Go look around, but yeah, great success for the Nike outlet. So big W. How about that then, eh? I need to stop shopping by myself as well. I was that close to buying a new bag for 400 quid. What am I even thinking? I didn't in the end, because I thought, you know what? That I put this whole trip to waste if I go and just spend all the profits that I could make. And no, but that Nike outlet, Jesus Christ. I don't know how it was that stacked. And it's like, it's not as it's opened as well. Like it's been like four hours since it's opened. It had pandas in there that no one touched. It had the pink milers in there. They must have just loads of stock in pink milers because even when I was in there, there's so many people buying them. I think I've been spiked by Wittards as well. They were they were doing this taste testing thing for some hot chocolate or something. I thought it was gonna be a. I thought it was gonna be some fruity tea like normal Wittard stuff. He tips that as a hot chocolate. Well, that's not good for my diet, is it? It was hot chocolate. It was nice but now I'm feeling really like I need a shit. And I was completely fine before. I haven't eaten anything since that as well. So I am adamant that I've been spiked by Witter. Anyway, that is gonna to conclude today's day in the life because I'm done for the day. I am shattered. I think we've done quite a lot today though. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff for me because I do appreciate it, people. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.